talk about your opinion on like girls trips while we're on the while we're on. I love girls trips. Like, party girls. I got a feeling we've got some fans of girls trips. In this okay, so right ladies on the panel, thumbs up if you do girls trips. Thumb, thumbs down if you don't. Thumbs I just up. don't have time to. So okay, <laughs> we have so much time. So, they're so, so much. Okay, so they're fun. So. Nicole, you know, your girlfriend say, hey, it's uh, Becky's girlfriend. We're going to go to Vegas on this weekend in September. You know, you want to go? Your answer is? I, I don't go. I don't like Vegas. But also, it's a difficult question, Rich, because my girlfriends do like. don't take Vegas trips. Like, somewhere I mean, do somewhere that. that you do like. Orlando, Sedona, uh, Fort Lauderdale. You know, you pick a place. Anywhere where there's going to be booze and yelling and partying. Okay, Nashville. I also don't. I don't drink alcohol, so okay. I don't know. I go on like I'll go oh, out with a couple girls, like a couple girls. Like, okay, this is my social life. I have a couple close girlfriends. I keep close to me. If I say, "Hey, let's rent a car. We'll like drive down the coast of California, stay a night in Santa Barbara, brunch, go to the beach, whatever, and come back." Like that's a girls' trip to me. Okay, I so hate Vegas trip. trips. Got I it. hate big trips. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. It's like exhausting to me. Gotcha. So like, I, I don't just don't go on go, girls okay. trips. I don't know. <laughs> Amber, what do you like about girls trips? Tell me, cause you did two thumbs up and you said, I love girls trips. Um, well, my girlfriends and I will usually go to Miami, but not partying in Miami. We like to stay in Brickell, Midtown area. We like mm -hmm. to stay at a nice little resort, have fun, see our friends, get cocktails, whatever. I'm not huge in the club scene. Okay, so let's say you're getting cocktails, you're in Brickell, you know, you meet a guy who says, hey, I got a yacht, we're going to be on it tomorrow when you get your girlfriends. Hell yeah, yes, we're going. Got it, okay. They have Classe Azul and Dom Perignon, I'm there. Whatever you want, it's on the boat. Is this, with, is this if we're in a relationship or not? We're just talking about girls trips right now. In oh. general, I don't care. We're, going. Okay. we're having fun. As long as you're not doing anything with them, it's just fun, you're having got a good it. time. What's this? Jessica? Je Jessica? I will do a girls trip if I'm single. If I'm not single, I wouldn't do a girls trip. I just feel like a girls trip with girls, especially, you know, it's like four or five of us. We just want to get lit. We just want to drink. We just want to smoke and forget about the world. We want to do a hangover movie. Okay. <laughs> you want to do a hangover movie. Okay. So let's, so let's revisit the question now, because now that we've established that girls trips do happen, what happens if you're in a long-term committed monogamous relationship with a guy? Would you still go on a girl's trip? Thumbs up if you would. Thumbs down if you wouldn't. Let's see the thumbs, lady. Okay, we got a sideways. Amber's Jessica. changing her tune a little bit. Interesting. <laughs> she went from, I don't care. I, I fully it. support, I fully support <laughs> guy trips, though. Like, I, I think guys' trips are really good and really important. And I don't mind if, if I'm with someone and they go on a guy's trip. Yeah, but Perfect. that's totally different, right? And guys' trips are always different oh. than girls' trips. Well, yeah, I mean, but I'm just I'm just throwing it out so, there. Okay, so I guess I'll pose this to Nicole because I have a feeling that you're going to push back on this because you don't like the control thing and you think that it's an issue. So um, we're in a relationship. We've been together for a year, you know, okay. and then you say to me, look, um, it's my best friend's uh, birthday. It's her 40th. You know, we have to do this trip to whatever. Uh, it's on this weekend. So just mark it in your calendar. And then your boyfriend then says to you, well, I'm not going to have it because I'm not going to have you go away on girls weekends. Is that controlling? So, Or is he protecting okay. the integrity of the relationship because he doesn't want you exposed to any sort of problem? So this is like a this is like a Vegas girls trip situation. Vegas, Sedona, Fort Lauderdale, Cancun. You pick the place. Yeah, Nashville. and we're going to hypothetically pretend that I'm I'm into drinking and partying and doesn't matter if you are or you aren't, but your friends are because you're going partying okay. to the place, right? So I would say for a man to say, you are not doing this, that's not appropriate. He no, could say something like, I, you can, hey. You can go and do it, but you'd be single when you came back. So let's just put it that way. Okay, that, then that's fine. Then each person can make their choice. So right. I will be single when I come back if I choose to, or I'll choose not to go. So it really um, depends on the value of the guy. Like if he's a high enough value guy and you respect him enough. No, it doesn't depend on that. Do? No, it doesn't no? depend on that. What, what would no, it depend on? No, it would depend, it like would depend on. Issue here. Yeah, it would depend on um, what the trip was, like who they were. Like I know my girlfriends and I know what we would do on a birthday party. He literally would have nothing to worry about. Um, and so assuming he knows me and knows my friends and knows my social life, 
And then he came and was like, well, you can go to so-and-so's birthday, but you'll be single when you come back. That's, I'd be like, okay. Um, I guess. I think when we talk I, about I generally, though, I don't, when we're talking about girls trips. We're not talking about like you and a couple of girlfriends in a remote cabin in the woods, like sitting around playing okay. categories. Well, that's what I do. Your, I that's know, what I, I do. <laughs> I think you're an outlier in this particular scenario. I think we're talking about trips well, to Miami or yeah. parties. We don't, or we don't know you well enough to know what you do on your like, girls trip. So we're just okay. that's, standard girls trip. That's what we're kind of, yeah. We're talking about your standard girls trip where there's going to be partying and boats and pools and all this kind it's of It's her 40th birthday. It's got to be a party, right? Right. <laughs> Shania, I you're mean, leading in strongly on this one. You've got something to say? <laughs> or a thought here? I mean, <laughs> it's... um. Hold on, I have to cough. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah, speaking of Miami. Oh, my God, I'm choking now. <laughs> um, speaking of Miami. Tough for you, huh? I know. I'm very passionate about this. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, I just went to Miami for Miami Swim Week. Okay. And um, so, it's kind of fresh in my mind right now, all the yeah. after parties. After what is, what is Miami Swim Week? Um, you know, for those of us that don't know, what is that like a model show or something? I think you're a model, right? Yeah, it's okay. a it's a fashion show. Fashion um, of show. course, it's swimwear though. Um, okay. So it's a little bit different, a little bit more party, a little bit more like woohoo summer sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so like I said, it's very fresh in my mind. Um, so when you brought up like oh like the stereotypical girls trip to Miami, absolutely not. I would never in a million fucking years go to that if I was in a relationship because. That was insane. It was, there was, ah, and like, I'm with Nicole. I've never touched alcohol. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke weed. I don't do anything like that. Mm. I'm in bed by 9 p.m. So that Let me was. Ask this, Shania, like, <laughs> is, is part of your denial that you would do this is because, see, because what a lot of women like to do, they like to deny what goes on on girls' trips. They say, oh, it's just dancing or it's just fun or it's just a boat, no big deal. Mm -mm. But you're saying you know what goes down. Can you? Can you enlighten the audience a little bit? I mean, it was I so I've never been on a girls trip myself, but if it's anything like the after parties of Miami Swim Week, there's drugs, there's flirting, there's sex in the bathroom, there's but How do you know about the drugs, sex in the bathroom and flirting if you go to bed at <laughs> nine o'clock? I'm confused. <laughs> well, I had to go to the after parties. I was in the show. Oh, <laughs> I, got dragged okay. I had so, to I know. Got, it, got it. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was, I'm definitely one of those people that like sits in the corner and just watches, um, mm -hmm. and make sure all of her friends get home safe. <laughs> um, but it's, it's insane. It's I'll, yeah, 100% I'll be straight up that there's definitely some weird shit going down. So, so, so is it unreasonable for a guy in a relationship to say to his woman when she announces that she wants to go on a girl's trip? No, you can't do that if you're in a relationship with me or go if you want, but you'll come back single. I mean, there's definitely like Nicole said, like I'm exactly like you, like my girl's trip would be a lot different than the stereotypical one. But if it were to be like the stereotypical, like Vegas, Miami, you know, something big and crazy, I definitely understand why a man would be like, you know what? I'm really not comfortable with that because, you know, shit goes down. So mm -hmm. I definitely understand um, it also depends on how he handles it. So there's ways to kind of fuck it up and just be like, you know, you can't go on this trip. Then the girl's going to get defensive. Then the girl's going to be like, well, why not? Like, you know, mm -hmm. but there's other ways to word it to be like, Hey, you know, this makes me uncomfortable. This is why it makes me uncomfortable. And, you know, please respect that, <laughs> you know? Well, Amber, what do you yeah, think? Like your, your approach like, is okay, wrong. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, Oh, go ahead. I, I want to hear Amber because she she was like we said girls trips and she gave a big woo. So I want to I want to kind of hear. So if I'm dating a high value man, I'm gonna say, hey, my girlfriend and I want to go on a girls trip. We're gonna go to Miami. If some crazy guy comes around with a yacht thing, I'm gonna take you guys out, pay for everything. I'm gonna call him first and ask if it's okay. What if he says I no? Mean, if he says no, then I'm not gonna go. I just, my problem with, I guess, Rich and Moth is your approach. Like, you're basically saying, okay, the girl comes to you and is like, I really want to go on this girl's trip. And you're just like, no. 
And if you go, you'll be single. Like if you're a good, if you're a good high value man of morals and virtues, and you're truly invested in the growth of your woman and see that as part of your mission is to like help her, you know, mature and come into her own. Like, why wouldn't you say, why wouldn't you be curious and be like, Oh, you have a girl's trip. Tell me about it. Tell me what you like about growth. Like, listen to her, get her feedback, have a conversation about it. And like, yes, express that like, Hey, this is what I, this is what girls trips to me. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is this a girl's trip, et cetera, et cetera. But for someone, if she's saying, I want to go on this girl's trip and you're just like, no, I don't want you to go. And if you go, you come back single. It's like, you can't even have a conversation. You're shutting someone down. And that's just like, it's just not attractive in a man. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.